all right guys welcome back to a brand new video today we'll be making the game in 15 minutes in roblox so this is going to be kind of a crazy speedrun challenge i got this suggested in my discord so if you're interested in joining the community and checking out some new video ideas make sure to join the link in the description but other than that yeah i mean i don't know what we're gonna make for uh 15 minutes it's probably gonna be a little bit crazy i have something in mind mostly i wanted to make like a intermission system and then have you fight like a couple of bandits whatever and then just have like a little round system I don't I mean I don't know really what we can do in 15 minutes honestly but yeah man we're gonna try I mean this is gonna be a pretty fun video yeah so make sure uh, if you do enjoy this type of content and if you want to see more of it make sure to comment down um, what your favorite part of the videos and then make sure to hit that like button subscribe and turn some notifications on so we can keep posting more content like this for you guys but yeah I mean honestly uh, this wouldn't be possible without you guys so yeah I mean let's try it I mean I'm gonna put the timer right here um yeah let's see 15 minutes um i mean i don't know if that will be enough honestly but we can try and spin something up for 15 minutes it's gonna be a lot of code writing a lot of hard work but yeah i mean let's let's do it let's start it and yeah let's go right now okay so we have started the timer the first thing that i'm gonna do is gonna click this base plate right here and then i'm gonna basically resize this to basically have like a lobby uh, a little small lobby right here oh my god i mean i don't know how we're gonna do this 15 minutes let's see if that will be enough but yeah, let me just make this small real quick. Uh, there we go. We're going to spawn right here. And let's duplicate this. And let's make a small little terrain right here. Which I'm going to put as like the round thing. Boom. There we go. And then this is where everyone's going to spawn. Let's put the material to grass. Oh my god, where's grass? Where's grass? There we go. And then let's put... Okay, that, yeah, that's good. And then let's put a part right here. Uh, which we're gonna name TP part. Boom. TP part. There we go. So now we're gonna put it right here. So this is where we're gonna teleport. After every round, we're gonna put this transparent. We're gonna put this anchored. Can't collide off. There we go. So now we basically have a TP part. We also need to make a lobby part. So where we will teleport uh, once the lobby is done. And then let me just do right there. And then let me just name it lobby part. Now we have a TP part. We have a lobby part. The thing that I was thinking is to put um, a couple of bandits right here. And then have you give the classic sword to the player. So kind of like a sword like this. Then we can try and find a bandit NPC um, right here. Let's see. Let's do this one. Uh, this one probably works. Let me go right, put it right here. Let's see if the band follows us. Yeah, oh, there we go. Okay, the band that follows us, that is good. Um, so we're going to just uh, save up uh, some time by using the bandit uh, right here. We just do have to customize some stuff. So let's just rename a bandit real quick. Boom, let's just make sure the respawn is off. And then uh, we need to make a damage script also. So we're going to go ahead right here real quick. We're going to make a script. We're going to say... Uh, Script up here, dot torso, dot touched, connect function, hit. And then we're going to say, if hit, dot parent, find for child, humanoid. So we're going to check if it is a player. Then hit dot parent, we can just copy this, save time. Boom, because we're limited on time. There we go. Take damage. We can say five. All right, there we go. Now we can make a debounce, local debounce, it's the false. Boom. If debounce, debounce equals to true, then return end, debounce equals to true, and then we can do a task wait of like 0.5 seconds, debounce equals to false. Boom, start going ahead of, to us, or is he moving? There we go, okay, and it should give us damage, let's check. So if we are right here, humanoid, properties, okay, yeah, it's, it's grading our health down, and then once we're done with the health, yeah, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. We should die real soon. There we go. Boom. So that works. Now we have to make... So let's see. We have the this one. We're going to put the bandit in server storage because that's where we're going to do all of this. Okay, guys. So we're going to start off by writing the round system script right now. So we're going to make a new script and name it round system uh, right here. And we're going to be basically handling all the spawning of the bandits the sword we're going to be doing the intermission ui so kind of it counts down from let's say 20 seconds and then it basically just puts you up in the game and you get spawned with bandits and if you beat all the bandits it's game over honestly let's just try and aim for something like that so to start everything off i mean the first thing that we want to do uh, is want to make a teleport function so we're going to do local function teleport player and we're going to do player there we go and then we're gonna do a simple um 
TP part. So we're gonna say local TP part equals to game dot workspace uh, Pfeiffer child part name, and then we're gonna put a part name up here, and then we're gonna just do a simple code. Uh, which is going to teleport us to the part if the part exists. Okay, so there we go that worked and now we can just change this honestly to the thing so to not not waste any time we're going to do TP part like that and then we're going to just remove this. So now we should have the teleport function done. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the intermission. We're going to do local function start intermission player boom and then we're going to just make intermission time time equals to 20 there we go, and then we're gonna make a simple UI, which is gonna basically just showcase us um, all the text that's gonna happen on the screen and just count down from one to 20. So it should be on our screen right here and say 20, 19, 18 until the round begins. So let's just do that real quick. Okay, there we go. So we made that happen. Now we're gonna just do a simple timer equals to intermission time, uh, one minus one do. So it's gonna just count down from uh, the thing that we wanted to the end then we're just gonna copy this right here and instead of this just press I so it basically does uh, the timing for us and then we're just gonna basically uh, destroy the countdown UI and then teleport player right there and now we should just add a simple event uh, when all the players get added to the game that they will basically just start the intermission timer so let's do that real okay boom so now we have it so when the player is added it will basically get a character and then it will start the intermission so let's try and test everything out let's see if it works um let's see okay so we have to do a couple of fixes guys i just realized what the bug was we just have to put a task wait here to just basically uh fix all of this so yeah there we go okay now we have the ui and it says intermission so basically after 20 seconds it's supposed to uh put us in uh and uh make all of this work so nine eight seven uh six five four and then i think it should work like it should just tp us from the start boom there we go okay so we just now need to make the bandit spawn we need to make a bandit counter in a table and we also need to revamp the intermission to just spawn bandits give us the sword so yeah we're just gonna do that real quick so we're gonna just hop into the round script uh round system script right here and we're gonna basically go in and um make a uh, give sword function so we're gonna do local function give player sword and we're gonna do player and then we're gonna be just basically say local s equals two game dot server storage fine for child sword actually classic sword there we go and then we're gonna say local cs which is clone sword equals to sword s clone there we go and we're just gonna say cs dot pair equals to player dot backpack there we go now this should work uh, and this should give us a sword. The next thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make a function for scattering the bandits. So we're going to do local function. Scatter bandits player. And then this basically um, is going to spawn the bandits right here where the TP part is. And it's going to basically scatter them all around us. And then, um, yeah, it's going to give us a sword. And we're going to have the uh, table, which is going to basically count how many bandits have we defeated. So we're just going to say local bandits equals two uh game dot server storage find first child bandit there we go and now we're just gonna make a simple code that it spawns five bandits randomly um around us and then that should be it for the scattering bandits okay guys so perfect we have added the clone uh right here and we basically made it so it spawns five bandits right here and then it spawns them randomly around me and it just inserts them into a table which will basically handle all of the defeating the bandits so we can get the game over and now we're just going to add a new thing called uh local function create round over ui player message and we're just going to say a message uh which is going to add a new ui so we're going to say local round over gui equals to instance that new screen ui there we go and then we're just going to add a name for it we're going to say round over ui that name equals to round over gui and then we're just going to add a message label uh which is going to basically just uh put in like round over or whatever uh is the thing so we're going to just do that real quick Okay guys, so after a couple of minutes, I have just made the message label and just made it so it says uh, a, a message which will be typed out depending on the outcome of the round. And now the last thing that we have to do is basically just make all of this function in the script that we did right here. So we're going to leave all of this here 
Uh, we're gonna go right here, and we're gonna first of all do a function of giving the sword to the player. Boom. So let's see what happens when we do give out the sword. Okay, so we're right here in the game. Let's check out what happens if we do the intermission. So it should give us a sword, but it shouldn't spawn the bandits yet because they haven't called off the function. But we're gonna make it happen, so let's see. 10, 9, and then it should just teleport us right there. I think we got like 5 minutes left. I mean, I think we can make this round system happen. Uh, yeah, I think we can make it though. Let's see. Okay, boom. It gave us a sword. That's good. That's our sign to continue on to this. And then we're just going to add on to this script. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to basically do band local bandits, scatter bandits, and then it's going to just give us the player. And then it should just give us um, a where they should spawn. There we go. And now we just have to make it, if not uh, round active, then return end. Boom. And then we're just gonna make it so if the humanoid health is zero, it basically just uh, destroys the whole thing. And basically, if it's not, then it uh, gives off a winning uh, signal. So we're gonna just basically start off with doing the uh, humanoid health and then just round over. If, if it's lost, then we're gonna just do it uh, as a defeat. Okay, boom. So we have just done this. And basically, uh, if you guys remember the lobby part we did at the start, uh, so we basically just had the the health to zero and then we made it so if it's uh, uh, the round is active it puts it to false and we just say run over is lost to the UI and then we just basically destroy all the bandits and just teleport us back to the lobby and start a new intermission after five seconds. So that is the if the health is um, zero but now we have to do another one so we're just going to copy this and we're going to say else if if we're going to delete all of this bandits. We're going to just hashtag bandits because it is a table. It equals to zero. Then it's going to just write us off a brand new thing. We're just going to say round active equals to false. And we're just going to make a new local round. So now uh, if the bandits are um, in fact all killed, then it should uh, just uh, teleport us back. So let's see. Let's try to test this out. I need to test out another time before we actually complete this because we do have a few minutes left. Uh, I think we can make this honestly. Yeah, we just need to just make it so it teleports us back and then it just gives us um, some kind of roar. So let's see, six, five, four. Let's see if the main does kill us. Will we get teleported back? What will happen? Let's see. Okay, boom, boom. Okay, the bandits are okay. They're kind of way doing way less damage. Maybe we should buff the damage. We don't have time for it. Boom. There we go. Okay, looks like. Where do we respawn? Okay, yeah, it finishes the intermission, but it didn't completely uh, give us the UI and everything. So we're going to just stop it right here and we're going to continue on with this. So we're going to say, uh, we're going to actually just do a couple more lines just to teleport player back. Let's just do that real quick. Okay, guys, so I just added this couple lines of code right here. So it just teleports us back. Pretty simple. Now we're just going to make a else uh, statement right here. And we're going to say uh, local alive bandits equals to a table and we're going to just check if all of these bandits are alive so we're going to say for i bandit in pairs bandits do and we're going to just basically write a couple uh, lines of code right here which is going to say if bandit and bandit dot parent and bandit oops bandit find for child so this is going to make sure that all of the bandits are accounted for and it's going to make sure it tracks um, their system so we can check if we did kill them or not uh, and bandit.humanoid.health is more than zero then we're just going to make a table that insert um i pairs this is i pairs okay we just have a couple minutes left let's just do this ally bandits bandit boom there we go so it should uh, yeah there we there we go and and then we just have to add a bandits equals two alive bandits there we go so that should be good for there let's see if we have missed anything out why is this giving us air fire it appears there we go for i band oh we didn't put in i pairs there we go there we go so now this should be good. We just have to make a checker real quick. So we're going to use run service and I'm going to get back to you guys when I do the code. Okay, guys, so I just added this one right here, which is basically just going to check the run service. And let's see how this works. I mean, this may work, this may not. I mean, I think the timer is almost up. Uh, we have a couple of seconds left. So yeah, let's just see what, what happens here. So we're just going to test it out. And let's see. I mean, honestly, let's see the result of everything. 
I'm praying this does work. I haven't been able to debug or check the code that much. We have just been speed writing all the code. So yeah, let's just check everything out. Let's see, six, five. I'm hoping this works and it will spawn the bandits and everything will work. I just pray to everything. I mean, if we fail, oh, there we go. Okay, so it has spawned the bandits. Let's go ahead and kill every one of them. So boom, boom, they even talking in chat. That saved us a lot of time. Okay, round over win. And there we go. It should prompt us up to another uh round another intermission hopefully there we go okay so this does work okay let's see what happens if we do lose the round i'm hoping it will do the system that i did uh and just say round over lost yeah just uh, fingers up let's just hope this works i've done the most bare ui you can imagine and basically try to make this in 15 minutes for you guys to check if we can do this challenge but yeah i mean if this does work uh it will be pretty crazy um yeah let's see okay yep there we go we're getting done okay uh, let, let's just get two bandits to attack us why did these bandits not attack us never mind it's probably the follow script of the bandits round over lost okay there we go it does despawn the bandits and then it gives us an air mission okay yeah it looks like it works i mean oh well we do have some bugs right here which gives us a double intermission for some reason but i think all in all this is successful yeah it looks like it gives us a triple intermission or something all in all it looks like this is pretty successful so yeah okay let's see will it spawn more bandits if we do oh my god yeah but let's see the base concept of it works and i guess we have to kill all the bandits to make it round over win there we go and yeah it looks like it kind of works i mean for 15 minutes this is crazy that we have managed to do all of this but i mean yeah so honestly thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to comment down below your favorite part of the video and also make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and turn those notifications on it really means a lot to me we're on a road to 100k and i think we can honestly make it with you guys you guys have been amazing and yeah let me know in the comments what time frame i should do next uh like should i do next challenge making a game in 30 minutes like 45 minutes an hour like a full day of making the game and like see what happens so yeah that will be pretty crazy i mean honestly just let me know in the comments if you guys do like these type of videos and i'll continue making them and also uh make sure to check out the academy uh for scripting is going to be the second link in the description so basically uh, if you guys are interested in learning how to script how to code or how to uh, make stuff in roblox studio how to get commissions how to get paid through roblox uh then make sure to check out the academy i basically have everything in there you need to learn how to script how to animate how to create vfx how to make your own uh, brand and everything and how to basically do commissions so yeah it's been pretty crazy we've been having crazy results in the academy of students literally changing their lives and making thousands of dollars uh but yeah that's off off this video uh if you guys are interested in that type of stuff then make sure to check out the uh link in the description for the academy but yeah honestly let me know what you guys uh think of this video let me know if you guys liked it drop a comment and we're gonna do more of these uh in the near future uh for sure we're gonna be doing a bunch of these challenges and we'll just make uh, a whole series of this so yeah let me know what you guys think and thank you guys so much for watching the video thank you guys so much your support means the world to us and yeah honestly without further ado thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace